Honestly, fighting wizards like this, it feels more like an action game or like a turn-based strategy game. I feel like I'm playing Monstania all over again. Good game, by the way. You die, wizard. And that is how you clear this castle of its wizard problem. Alright, let's cast Wizard Eye, get ourselves squared away again. And let's also cast um, Locate Monster, because if there's anything hanging around, I want to know it before I see it. So come on, Locate Monster. Locate Monster, where are you? Detect Monster, that's what I was looking for. Good, we cleared them all out. Yes, open it. A lot of gold, a lot of gems. And... Oop, backpacks are full. We have to take care of that first. Allow me to pause it real quick while I sort out my inventory. Alright, welcome back. Thanks for waiting for me through that pause. Um, as I'm finding, I am getting a lot of items inside of here that are magically enchanted, that have on-use items to the property to them. But really, they aren't that useful. I mean, sure, you might be able to use them, but they just clog up your backpack, they clog up your inventory, and you really don't have that much inventory space to screw around with in this game. Alright, we've successfully sacked all the chests inside this castle. Now head north and into the acid pits. Now, as you'll see, I'm going to send in Craghack first. There's a reason for that. He's the only person that can survive all the punishment that they, they, they give you. Climb down and bathe, yeah. And what it does is it gives you plenty of experience points. Well, actually, it only gives you 25 thousand experience points, but if you feel crazy, go for it, man. Here, I'll rest again and I'll show you. Save state, cast, create rope. No, 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 not yet. Ah, uh, nuts. Alright, see, so experience 23 million, one the... 139, blah, 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 Cast, create rope. Sure, let's take an acid bath. Why does it affect everybody? Oh no, it gave us Kwatlu coins. I don't want to go back to that place again. <laughs> you know what, forget it. I'm not... I'm not even doing this. You know what I'm doing? I am going to go over here. I don't care if the drop is too great. Just cast the rope right here. This is the only one that I concern myself with right now. And that is because it has an ancient artifact of neutrality inside of it. All of the other places, they will either give you Kwatlu coins, they will give you some minor experience, or they will give you that in the corner, which is the artifact of neutrality, which is the, only, which is the entire reason I came out here in the first place. Otherwise, though, if you want a lot of Kwatlu coins, head out there, take them, and you'll be set. Me, I personally don't like the Kwatlu coins because, well, I'm a fan of endurance and everything, but I don't like the fact that it randomly eradicates a person from time to time. That's not my good idea of... That's not my idea of having fun with slot machines, let me tell you. Alright, we're just going to explore around like this, and look for the dungeon. Oh wait, we've already been through the dungeon. Alright, well, let's just leave then. We've explored everything there is to explore in Castle Dragontooth. The last place we need to explore is the Castle of Neutrality. Oh, and um, I've got to hand in my artifact of evil. Because I want to clear up my inventory space. I just want to 
fast forward through that. Alright, now let's escape from this place. That doorway is sad. It's a sad doorway. Alright. I'm gonna stop being weird for a moment. And we will cast Town Portal. Hmm, where are we going? Oh, I can't even remember. That's right, we're going to Castle Wildebar, or er, Town of Wildebar. And then we are going to Castle Free Rain, or Blood Rain. And then we are going to hand in a bunch of stuff, and look around for more stuff and sack the castle there too. Yes, enter Castle Free Rain. Alright. Yeah, I know, they plant the eggs too deep. Aha. Uh -huh. That actually is kind of funny, I think. But hey, I'm... I am easily entertained. That what you bring me now, blah 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 blah. That you bring me now. Oh, okay. It just takes them all at once. Which is a good thing. Okay, now... Remember, there are no castle guards until you decide to loot their stuff. So... What we need to do is, first we need to find the way down to the dungeons below, below here. Um, first is in flower and also in bloom. back here for no reason. Or oh, whatever. Um, where's the stone heads? Isn't there any way that they're going to tell me which way to go? The second is in grave and also in gloom. Alright. Look at all those doors. They've got monsters behind them too, I just know it. The last is in weft, but not in the loom. Strange. I wonder if this is a castle where they're talking about weeds and everything. The third is in chamber, and also in room. Out of there just yet. Besides, I need to find the way down to the cavern, wherever that would be. It's probably up here. There it is. What manner of creature once pillaged this castle? That'd be an ogre, wouldn't it? Yeah, ignore the statue heads. They're just talking gibberish. If you paid attention to the plot and you read your notes, you'd realize that. Okay. Looks like this pile of steamy poo. Making a poo. Stinky poo. Looking at you. Ahem. Right, so... Those appear to be Sonic Ninjas, so let's power shield ourselves up. I really don't think there's anything to worry about from this encounter, though. Everything down here sounds like it should be easy cake for us. And of course, Castle White Shield sounded that way too, and it had nothing but demons and stuff like that. 